Hi, welcome back to our gold making for casual series. Today we're going to do a little vendor run around Algarmar. This is one of the bigger ones, but I'm going to try and get through it as fast as I can. We're starting here in Cleft of Shadows where you portal in from Dalaran. There's also a ton of other portals here that will take you to New Dalaran, to Blasted Lands and up there. You've got ones that will go to Hellfire Peninsula and to, I think it might be Old Dalaran, I'm not sure. There might just be a second Dalaran. I'm not actually sure and I'm not going to jump through them now to check but um, this is where you portal in so this is where we're going to start and the first person you're going to want to see is Hagris which is right here behind Juice in one of these buildings I believe there we go the middle one and Hagris has two potions here he's got recipe of greater great rage and recipe of rage um, recipe rage potion may sells for somewhere between 400 and 3000 gold according to TSM on here and the great rage potion is between 400 and 700 but there's none of them on the auction house so this must be one that people don't pick up all too often that's the only one down here in the cleft of shadows so then we're going to go up to the up to the side here now there's none in the Torin section I think it's valley of honor it's called so when you come up here you don't want to go down there because there's nothing down there we're gonna go across here to the slums in the troll area there is nothing particularly want you could go in there and you could pick up there's um, a food vendor that has a lot of of the more rare food items but selling food items is always very slow and very touch and go so I generally don't bother with it but you can if you want other than that there's nothing in the troll area here we're going to talk to oh, Lizna Goldweaver and Lizna Goldweaver has a couple of patterns here. Yeah, she has five patterns. The blue linen vest, the red linen, red woolen bag, blue overalls, pink mage weave shirt, and lavender shirt. The lavender shirt apparently sells for between 20 and 100. The pink one sells for between about the same. The blue overalls between 20 and 300. The red woolen bag between 5 and 20. And the blue linen shirt between 20 and apparently occasionally 600. They're worth picking up. And the next person we're going to go across to here is, if I can find her, Visna Bangwrench. Where is she again? Visna Bangwrench. I think she's way on around the corner here, actually. No, let's see, though. Oh, here we go. Visna Bangwrench, over here by the trike seller. You can pick up the blacksmith ha hammer and the mining pick and the trinket kits. So you can pick up these wooden stocks and the triggers and the fluxes. All those things sell for a couple of gold each. Apparently these stocks can sell for 40 to 70 gold if you want to grab those. I might grab one of each just to put them on my list. Um, so you know it, it's entirely up to you just how much risk you want to take. They don't cost an awful lot so it's not an awful big risk but if you want to try and sell them you're very welcome to give it a shot. Um, you can even try to sell that blasting powder. It only sells for 95 silver, but again, it's only costing you 14 copper, so every little helps, I guess. Engineer's Inks one you should always probably pick up. I always pick up about five of them because um, they're used to in different things. Um, coarse blasting powder, again, only sells for silver, but it only costs copper, so you know you can pick it up. You can even sell light parchment. Um, but the one we're going, the one I want to point out here is that um, is the, ste the schematic steam tank controller. Don't buy this unless you are an engineer because this is bind on equip, bind on pickup. So you will not be able to sell this on the auction house. You can learn it if you're an engineer and make them, but you cannot sell this on the auction house. So don't pick it up. We're only talking to Visna for the engineering supplies that she sells. She occasionally will have things like silver contacts, which will sell for 30 to 50 gold, which is quite a bit for what they are. So you can pick up those um, engineering things and sell those on. The next one we need is Zito Helmbreaker. He's over here under this crashed whatever this is um again you can get the weak flux and the elemental flux and things the part these cost two gold to buy but apparently they sell for 27 so you can pick you know a couple of those up if you want um then he has a lot of patterns that you need that are bound on pickup and you need um actual ore to buy so don't worry about those but the last one is a hardened iron short sword that one you can sell for about 100 to 400 gold and there's a couple of vendors around the city that, that sell this item as well. That is it for the slums. Then we're going to go down to the, the main 
the main um, central bit, the Valley of Strength. Now, first stop in the Valley of Strength is in here in the blacksmith's place and we're going to talk to Pruna. She's here on the side. Now, you can again buy the same things that you got from Zito. But if you've picked them up from Zito, don't pick them up again. The one you might want to pick up again is this iron short sword. Because she also sells that. And it's limited supply, so they only have one of them each. So you can pick up both of them and then you'll have two on the auction house. That is it for the main area. Now we're going to go over to the drag. Here in the drag, you've quite a lot of stops to make. Um, we don't need any from the cooking. You can pick up um, some of the spices and things and try and sell those if you like. I generally don't, don't bother with those. In here, we're going to need to speak to... Mokra or Morkara. Um, she sells inks. You can pick up from her these scribe satchels for 40 silver. Apparently they sell for 9 gold to 100 gold. Uh, it's entirely up to you. I picked one of them up when we were in Silvermoon. It didn't sell fast enough for my liking so I'm not going to pick them up again. You can also pick up these staffs. Apparently they'll sell as well. Um, and they only cost 19 copper and 7 silver. So they'll sell for about 20 gold or 400 gold apparently. So um, you can pick those up as well if you want to. But that's about it for in here. It's entirely, this one is optional. The one we're up here to get is this one next along the line. And that is Bruna. Brunda. Brunda sells those flowers that we picked up in, in um, Thunderbluff. So you can pick up a set of those here if you are not going to Thunderbluff. Or if, if Agrimar works better for you, you can just pick those up here. Um, again, the prices for all of this stuff will be in the blog post linked below. So you can you can check how much they're all worth there. And at the end of this, we're going to very quickly dump them all into our, our ongoing group that we've been building up in TSM for these things. Which has been working quite well. If you'd like to see how well that works, you're very welcome to follow me on Twitter where I regularly post up my um, sales from these. Now in here we have the, is this is a tailoring or is this the leatherworking one? I can never tell them apart. Where's the sign? Here we go. Cloth goods. This is the tailoring, the tailoring place. And we're going to want to talk to Borya. Borya has to do these five patterns. Now these are the same five patterns that Lizna has, but again, they're limited quantity. So um, this means you can have two of them on the auction house instead of one. Again, over here, Ol Olianus has these shirts and these these white armor sets. You can pick those up and try to sell those as well if you want. I might do a separate post on that altogether, but um, I normally don't bother. Just because with transmogs being out now, they don't sell just as well as they used to. Because you can't transmog them, but you know they might be worth throwing up there. Occasionally they do. Bits and pieces of them do, do sell. Now the next one we're going to go across to is the leatherworking shop here. Again, there's leather armor guy outside. You can pick those up if you want to give them a try. But the one we're going for is Tamar. Tamar, along with all these leatherworking patterns, has this heavy leather ball, which will apparently sell for 1,000 to 1,300 gold. So that's definitely worth picking up for 16 silver. Again, there's more of the cloth armor guys selling their um, sets in there. You can pick them up if you want. Then we're going to go across to Sovik. Sovik over here in the engineering shop. He sells, again, all those um, stocks and fluxes and things that you can pick up. He will also sell engineering parts. Um, this one costs 24 silver and apparently sells for 30 gold. So it's definitely worth picking that up. Silver contacts, 80 copper. Again, those can make up to 30 gold bronze tubes the blasting powders again don't buy the steam tank controller the steam tank controller is bop and it's a waste of your money it's only 64 silver but it's a waste of your 64 silver that i have fallen into many a times so be careful with that one you can pick up a few things from that toy vendor there like um the oil for the rocket bot 
they used to sell for like thousands of gold each but i don't think anybody does it anymore so um i wouldn't i don't generally bother with them but you can pick up a few of these things and throw them on the ah if you want to give them a try if you do and they do sell let me know send me a screenshot i'd be quite interested to see but um for me i can't i can't get them to move at all next one is over here we're going to talk to who are we going to talk to here we're going to talk to Korgeld. Korgeld has elixir a recipe elixir of superior defense that sells for a thousand gold apparently all right and the last place we are going to go is oh hang on we have one more here the enchanting shop Krithis. Krithis has she occasionally has um enchanting materials you can also pick up the simple wood and the rods and um, what we're going to grab from her here is this formula enchant two-handed weapon lesser intellect for 100 to 400 gold and we're also going to grab formula enchant chest lesser mana for a thousand gold Now we're over in the Valley of Honor. We're going to make two quick pit stops here. The first being Kiro. We're going to buy these four harnesses, which make, they can make up to a thousand gold each. And I sold some of them recently for a lot, like a lot. I think it was more than that even. I think it could have been two or three. Um, and then the last one we're going to go is we're going to go over here to the blacksmithing area. And we're going to speak to, which one of these ladies is it? Sumi. Sumi here has another one of those. Oh, she doesn't have it right now. She will normally sell another one of those short iron, um, hardened iron short sword recipes. So you can pick up a third one of those. Now, as with the last times, but basically what we're going to do, because we've already made um, a group for our vendor items starting in the Silvermoon vendor run, if you want to check that out, you can find it on our channel. We're going to just add the ones that we are missing into our group. To do that, we're going to open TSM. We're going to go into our groups. We're going to find our vendor run group that we have here. And we're just going to go down this uh, list of items that I have in my very full bags and pick out the ones that we have just bought. So there's that formula, those um, triggers and stocks, the engineering items all those um all those tops that we bought all the patterns here plain wooden staff the recipes let's see what else we've got here i think that might the my mining pick the jeweler's kits actually mine so i'm going to not sell that right i'm going to move all those into our bags and that should sell them all so now we're going to run in and we're going to post those up i will um Fast forward this so you don't have to watch it scan. I know a bio when I see one. Okay, so that's finished scanning now. And as you can see, everything on this list is coming up green. That is exactly what you want to see. That means they're all undercutting competition within our um, within our set groups, which we set up in the first one. So you can go and check that out in the Silvermoon run. And all you go do is you go down the list and post them all up. And that's it, folks. 10, 15 minutes. And potential profit of I've been making about four to five thousand gold per city with these so far so that if you do all four of your capital cities depending what faction you're on that's um about twenty thousand gold which is not bad for about you know what amounts to about half an hour's work so I hope you've enjoyed this if you have let me know if I miss anything let me know because it's entirely possible and if not I'll see you next time thanks for stopping by bye